guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome I greatly appreciate you being here please consider hitting that big red button down there before you go anyway so jumping right on in obviously you guys already know from the title and the thumbnail baby you already know it's finna go down so I was one of the fortunate ones to be able to get my hands on Jeffrey's new magic star concealer and setting powder and I've actually had these like for the last couple weeks or so but <laughs> If you've seen my last video, then you know mama's been going through a lot. And unfortunately, I'm just now getting a chance to sit down and film this video. Sorry about it. But don't worry because at least these products are still in stock. Now, not every single shade is still available at this moment. Um, let me check and see. Okay, so currently, right now, today, as you guys are seeing this video, um, there are several concealer shades still available. A lot of the light shades are um, out of stock, though. However, there still are a few of them. But a lot of the medium to darker skin um, tones are still available, as well as the green corrector. Um, but not the peach one and as far as the setting powder all of the light shades are out translucent and all the light ones are out but the medium to dark ones are still available so if you need a lighter shade I apologize but you already know you can follow Jeffrey on all his social sites and he will definitely announce whenever he's going to do a restock anyways I don't want to ramble on too much because y'all know I can do that um, I want to go ahead and get right on into things I already have my base done because this video is strictly about about the concealer and setting powder but we all are pretty well aware that all products mix differently together so the way this concealer happens to look on me with one foundation may be different with another foundation I'm not sure yet um, this will be my first time trying it so we will see so if you are interested the foundation that I have on today is the L'Oreal true match unfortunately I'm completely out of my favorite drugstore foundation which is the um, Maybelline Superstay. I love that foundation and I'm all out so so I decided to go with my second best drugstore one which is this baby right here so anyways now that that's out the way let's move on to this I am so 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 beyond excited for this you guys if you know me if you've seen any of my videos um, you know how much I freaking live for Jeffrey and his products like they're everything I don't care if it's a makeup product or like a clothing accessory or something like that or a makeup bag or a mirror whatever like, it doesn't matter he pours his soul into his products and you can tell like the quality is there, baby. And a little disclaimer, I have not watched anybody else's review. I know there are several people that has already like reviewed this product and tested it out and all that. I haven't watched a single one because whenever I do this, I like to be fair. Um, I don't want anybody else's opinions like kind of getting to me and sticking in my head. I just really want it to be fully my own. So I haven't watched a single one. The only video that I've watched of these are Jeffrey's video, of course, when he made the announcement about the concealers and powders and showed them off. So I have seen that. I've seen them in use in his video, but that's the only only one so yeah I'm excited I know you guys have probably seen these literally everywhere because they're the talk of the town right now um, as far as like concealers and stuff goes but if you have for whatever reason been living under a rock then I will go ahead and show you the packaging this is the a magic stop a concealer you guys just heard me brag about his products right he pours his heart and soul into his product he also pours his heart into even the packaging like all the details and as a consumer like that's something I really appreciate. I know there are some people that really could care less about packaging, but I'm one of those that love it. Again, if you're a consumer and you're putting your money into things, um, you know, you really want to get your money's worth. And that goes down to something as the, simple as the packaging. I'm a makeup freak, so packaging like this, like, I keep. I don't just throw this away. A lot of money was put into this, you know what I'm saying? A lot of time, effort, money, thought, a lot of love went into this as well as my coin so I appreciate this only thing I am nervous about this is the shade you know it's a little tough picking out like shades online and stuff I know I mean they give you like a little reference like for medium skin tones with a yellow undertone or something like that they do give you those but I don't know it's just so difficult for me or sometimes what my skin tone is in one brand is different another brand I don't know if anybody else is like that out there so it's a little tough for me and I don't have a Morphe store close to me the closest one to me is probably like 45 minutes to an hour away or something like that so I didn't have a store I could go into and kind of like swatch in person so the shade that I decided to go with <laughs> is shade C16 anyways this is what she looks like so I don't know I don't know 
aside from the shade can we just take a moment to appreciate this all right the carton was one thing but can we just take a minute to appreciate the beauty that is this component I mean hello this just looks expensive all right like this looks very luxe very high quality very princess I don't know it's just oh my god it's everything oh wait I just realized I'm giving all the love to this concealer which it greatly deserves that but I haven't even talked about the setting powder like, I'm just so excited to jump right in um so for the setting powder that I got I decided to go with the banana one I was gonna get translucent but because of my skin tone that make me like look a little white or leave like a little ghost cast not saying his would have I don't know I haven't tried it obviously but banana powder is something that I love I live for any kind of like banana shades um, I used to use uh, make it revolutions banana powder all the time um, you guys can if you've watched any of my older videos you would know that and because I have dry skin I don't really use powder all over my face um, I really just kind of use it in the places that I stick concealer so I figured going with banana powder was the best choice and the same for the concealer the packaging on this is just as beautiful and word on the street is is this smells like cotton candy so <laughs> okay first of all it's not even open right now like as you can see it is closed and you can still smell this through the component okay let me open this really fast oh my gosh okay this is everything it does smell like cotton candy but it smells like better than cotton candy I don't I don't know but it's making me hungry all right oh my goodness can I eat this like is that wrong I'm just kidding it smells great but it's not overbearing is what I'm trying to say mmm mm. let me put the lid on this before I just oh yes God all right enough of this nonsense I need these products Oh my face. Even though I have foundation on, you can still see all this darkness here, okay? Mama is tired, all right? What is sleep? We don't know her. Let's go ahead and apply this concealer. Ooh, look at that. Can we get into this little applicator here? Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. I love the shape. I think it's going to apply really well. I mean, I did hear Jeffrey say that there's like a little pocket in there that kind of holds concealer. So, I mean, he was able to do his whole face and not even have to like re-dip in, which is fantastic because that means that this will last even longer if you're not having to constantly go in for a lot of products. So, let okay, let's see. Let's just see. I'm going to do one eye first and so we can compare. Okay. And you know what? I did not do so bad on the color. This color is absolutely perfect. It is perfect for what I wanted. It's still in my skin tone range, except, but it does give me a little bit of that brightening effect. So, just what I wanted. I did good, look at me. So as you guys can see, I have not redunked into this at all. And it took me that far, and there's still product in there. I could probably go ahead and go on with this other eye. I know I could, but I'm not going to because I want to compare the two eyes, so. Would you look at that? I cannot get over how perfect this shade is. I was so, so nervous. I was like, oh my God, is this gonna be too light? I don't know, it's, it's perfect. By the way, I didn't even read what the card said. Really quick, so I can blend this out. This concealer claims to be full coverage, long wearing, anti-aging properties, and a natural matte finish. Woo! Before I blend it out, I will say, cause I was too busy running my gums, when applying it, it went on so smoothly like butter and um even now with it just sitting there it's just i don't know it's so beautiful y'all let me blend her out so let's give her a good tap 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 so it is blending like butter look did y'all see how easy i mean i know y'all can't because y'all are like there and i'm like here but like <laughs> it is y'all see how okay look at the difference this is it this has not even blended in all the way and look at the difference and i promise you guys i'm not even being dramatic right now i'm not i mean it speaks for itself <laughs> i don't have to be dramatic it speaks for itself do you see this look at the look at the difference look at it look at it 
oh my god and that is just one coat because i know some people like to do a one little coat of concealer and then go back on top but like honestly i don't need it i could leave it like this and be great and what i love about it because i do have really dry skin it is not drying at all I know Jeffrey did mention that but obviously we all want to try things for ourselves we all have different skin types again the products they mix differently this looks good so far I am gonna do just a little bit more as you guys can see I don't have to but I just want to kind of see how it does layer this definitely would have been fine on its own leaving it how it was but because I know some of you out there like to layer I would do it for you guys I was expecting it to be good but it's just like when you really are putting it on your face, you're like, dang, I didn't know it was possible for it to be that good. Again, I don't even have to say anything. This side is looking mighty tired, mighty depressed. <laughs> but this one is like, hi, hello, I'm awake, I'm ready to tackle the day. How are you? And not only is it making me look awake and just, but my skin, like it just looks so beautiful. <laughs> okay, let me stop. Let me just go ahead and finish applying this to the rest of my face in all my other normal concealer spots so that way I can get into this powder girl because we can't forget about her over there oh my god okay this applicator is everything I love how it holds the product and also it's like a little flimsy on the end I say that lightly it's not flimsy as in like cheaply made like gonna break off flimsy but I'm saying like it has movement like it like it does not like hard to where it sticks in one place and you can't really like apply the concealer right like it kind of like if you watch me put it to my skin it kind of like see how it kind of presses against and just oh it just makes it so easy to apply I love it okay let's go ahead and blend everything out Alrighty, y'all, my skin looks flawless. You can't tell me nothing. I don't care. It is there, it is set, but it's still like it's not drying. It still has this kind of like, I don't know, it still looks moisturized. A lot of times once you go ahead and put concealer underneath your eyes, um, even before the powder, it, it starts to look a little dry because concealer is a little drying. That's just what it is. But this one is not now moving on to the powder girl i cannot get over that smell and by the way this is what it looks like i do like how it has this little half thing here so you can close that which is great because a lot of times i have another powder that i normally use that it's open the whole thing is open so it does tend to get a little messy but this one once you're done using it you can very well twist this and close it off put the lid on and be good to go but i am just going to pour a little bit in the cap yo this good I cannot All right so I did pick up some here on my sponge again this is the banana shade and let's go now normally I don't bake um, I don't really do that anymore I used to do it all the time. The only time that I will bake is when I am like going somewhere when I'm going to be like out for a long time and I want my makeup to make sure it stays and lasts. So I am just placing this underneath my eyes and it's going to pat it and work it all the way into the skin. And I know I was running my gums when I was applying the other eye, but just know that this is applying perfectly. I can already say, without even having had this on that long, I can already tell you that this is by far probably my favorite concealer and setting powder that I've ever, ever used. And that's just with applying it. Both of these products, the concealer and the setting powder, have applied like a freaking dream. And I can promise you that's not BS. Like, look at my skin. Look at it. Like the powder is very fine let, let me just pick up some on, on my finger like it is so f okay you know what if you guys have this at home or if you're thinking about buying it or if you're gonna buy it whenever you get it put some on your finger and just rub it together this is the softest freaking powder it feels so silky Again, I ain't lying, honey. Buy it for yourself and see. This feels literally like silk. No wonder it applies like a dream on the skin. I cannot wait to see how this wears. Alrighty, both products are completely on. Y'all, I cannot get over my freaking skin right now. And I know it's not like my skin, it's like the products, but like, 
it's my skin while I have it on, all right? Can you get into this? Get into it. Get into this skin. I have my face like set with powder and it my face still looks this smooth. And again, y'all, I have dry skin. I don't have combination, I don't have oily, I have dry as, all right? Doesn't look dry and crusty and flaky, none of that. Now, I know I just applied it. We are gonna do a wear test, so we'll see. It is literally three o'clock on the dot, three o'clock in the afternoon. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to finish doing the rest of my makeup, a nice little eye look for the gram. Uh, follow me over there if you're not already. And once I do that, I will come check back in with you guys to show you guys the completed face and see how everything has held up with all the other makeup that I put on top of it and we will go from there. You know, I'd love to say I'd be using uh, Miss Blue Blood today, but she's a little on sold outside, you know. <laughs> Pretty much has been since she first launched. <laughs> Things sell like hotcakes. So, in the meantime, I'll just be using her sister, Miss Blood Sugar, today on the eyes. She's just as great. I love her just as much. She's just as iconic, and we stand her just as much. <laughs> Yes, honey. Get into this beat. Get into this mug. Get into this lip, honey. Which, by the way, if you're curious, it is uh, Unicorn Blood by Jeffree Star. I mean, how could I not, right? It's only fitting. Okay, and once I finished everything, I did go in and set everything with this e.l.f. illuminating mist and set. Anyways, so it is currently 4.17. Why did it take me an hour to do this? Am I shocked? No. Not at all. In my defense though, y'all know I'm a mom, I got two kids, so I had quite a few intermissions. This wasn't just me going and putting on the rest of my makeup and moving on with my life. No, this is never how it goes. So, nevertheless, it's 417, which means the concealer and powder have now been on my face for just about an hour, actually a few minutes over that. So, since it has been an hour, let's just go ahead and look everything over. I forgot my mirror coming back in here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the mirror in the blood sugar palette. Why? not and I will say I mean everything looks fantastic but then again it has only been an hour um, I'm gonna go take some pictures for the gram so make sure when you're seeing this go over there and show me some love because I'm pretty sure it'll already be up by the time you're seeing this you know yeah I'm gonna go take a selfie of this look and yeah I'll be back in a few hours to check in with you guys guys we are back <laughs> it is late and mama is tired so let's make this quick so it is currently 10 08 at night which means that the concealer and setting powder and everything has been on my face for a total of seven hours from afar you guys can tell again the background's different the lighting's different so skin tone and all may look a little different than before disregard that but overall from afar things look they're looking pretty good but of course the true test is uh <laughs> up close y'all I just might be a little shook honestly this looks so freaking close if not almost spot on but so freaking close to what it looked like when I first applied it um, and said it and had everything done. Like I am not even BSing you guys right now. It looks great. And honestly, if I wasn't as tired as I am right now, I would not want to wash this off because I am loving this look. But y'all, I'm so tired. I didn't get much sleep last night. And let me tell you, it was a struggle waiting till this late to wash this off, okay? Because I'm tired, all right? I just want to take a shower, moisturize everything, and like cuddle up in the bed and watch YouTube videos or Netflix or something like that. I don't know. But I will be soon. So, final thoughts. Well, my friends, the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Magic Star Concealer and Setting Powder are Brie Simone approved. Sorry, y'all. I had to, all right? It was only right, okay? Just for this video, I promise. So, but really, these products are so freaking awesome. Definitely recommend this to anyone out there, no matter what your skin tone is, because JSC is all inclusive. And also, no matter what skin type you have. Because like I said earlier, I have really dry skin, and both of these were perfect on my skin. I literally have no complaints, and I feel like um, anybody else, no matter what your skin type is, oily, 
normal combination whatever i really feel like you will love these products and it's um pretty much official thanks jeffrey because now i don't think i'll ever be able to use another concealer or setting powder again <laughs> But the gag is, y'all know I be doing all these like crazy looks and stuff for Instagram. A lot of times I do the look, take pictures, and wash it right off. So if you follow me over there, let it be known now. These right here most likely will not be used in all of those looks, okay? Because I gotta save this stuff. This is a magic, literally magic, all right? You know, I gotta save this stuff for like special occasions and stuff, okay? Because. Honey, this is not to be wasted. And honestly, at this point, I'm just waiting on that Jeffree Star foundation, honey, because I know it is going to be everything. And the day that I can come on here and do a full face of nothing but Jeffree Star cosmetics products, y'all, at this point, I'm sure you guys are like 20 minutes of Rhea kissing Jeffree's ass, but no. I'm not. Don't take my word for it. If you think I'm playing around, then go buy them for yourself, okay? And come back and let me know just how much you love them. Anyway, girl, I got to go, all right? I have a date with my bed and Netflix and I'm running very late, so. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I will see ya in the next one.